Welcome back to Noah Digest. You've heard us talking about Charlie Donahue when Tom Dunlay was on the uh, on the show, and now he's here in person. Um, first of all, thank you for uh, commissioning those three paintings that have made Norwood famous now all over all over the world. You were just telling me, uh, so you got requests from from where? Well, we received requests from Canada. Uh, from people who don't know where Norwood is, but they love hockey players. Yeah, so, so they've been putting them in their office and their <laughs> homes, and so it's it's amazing how far the how popular Norwood has become. I know, all because the, of uh, you and Tom. I uh, talked to Paul Angelo at the yeah. uh, the Clooney. He said he had a one of his customers, a very rich guy who travels the world, was upstairs in the old Colonial one night, and he looked out at the Norwood Green, uh, and he said, you know, I've seen every most beautiful city in the world. And this is the most beautiful town green in the winter I've ever seen. Yeah. So Tom has memorialized it twice now yeah. uh, with some hockey players involved too. That's great. And your son, they were your sons? Yes. And my, oh, they are your sons. The second one I had my grandson and my daughter and a few other family people. But it's, uh, it's been great. It's, uh, we're very fortunate to have such iconic buildings and such a beautiful town square. Yeah. And we were talking about you know Tom being very generous. But I want to talk about some of your generosity right now. I mean, one of the things that that you've done is, you know, the great courses that you've donated to the uh, Norwood Library. So tell us about that. Well, uh, about 20 years ago, my wife and I uh, wanted to honor my mother and father. My mother was a teacher. My father was chairman of the Norwood School Committee at one time. And I'd been looking at these courses where you could take a course that lasts about uh, half an hour long, 24 courses on these subjects that I never studied. And I said, this is fantastic. Wouldn't it be great to put them in the library? So. Right now, there's 102 college courses in the Norwood in Westwood. Westwood's a backup, but they're backups to each other, so if you don't find it in one. Uh, and they're taught, uh, just Johns Hopkins, Brown, MIT, Harvard, Williams, Yale, Smithsonian. These are the places where the teachers come from. And they average, again, 30 minutes long for 24 courses. Uh, in uh, uh, as many as, uh, 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 I'd say there's probably about 12 subject areas. Yeah that the 120 courses are in, and you can go to the library and get a listing of what the, uh, you're looking at the screen to see some of the subject matters. But it's a, it's a courses that a high school kid could take and get prepared for college. Or a college kid could take that they don't want to take it at school. Or a retiree would like to kind of go back. We have some now stories where parents look at the course with their kids. Right. They'll study the Civil War. And I had one person where the kid said, I didn't know my father was that smart. I, was, I didn't know the kid was there. We talked about that battle. Uh, we also have a story where one of the teachers in Norwood took the course, uh, one of the lectures in the class, Classics of American Literature, Brown University. And one of the girls went up and said, this is unbelievable. What, what, what? She said, well, this is what a college course is like. She said, well, where do you get? Norwood Library. So she went down to the Norwood Library for the summer and took the whole course, wow. read some of the books. So she goes back her senior year, and the teacher says, are you applying to Brown? She said, yeah, I think I will. In your interview, tell them you've already taken a course. They love ballsy, pushy people. <laughs> so she does. She gets in. Ah, so she cool said too. the whole discussion. So another possible reason was for kids to take some courses, and in their college interview to say, I've already taken a course at Williams or MIT. You know, they love people who are pushed. Yeah. So this is a wonderful opportunity for all the groups that I mentioned uh, to, to take advantage of the, the subjects in there. And there's the equivalent of an MBA. Right. There's an equivalent of a law degree besides the oh, literature courses, the science courses. So just to get out and look at the listings, I think. Uh, so anyway, my wife and I are delighted uh, uh, to have these available and hopefully getting the word out to people to know about how they can take advantage. And what, 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 what is it? Is it a DVD? What is it? It's a DVD. You just stick it in your machine. Uh, you borrow it for a couple of weeks. and. Uh, you know, you could just watch them, uh, tell your friends about them. Uh, people have had groups watching them, you know, sure. where you have people up for an evening and watch a couple of lectures. And so it's a, it's a, uh, a very convenient way uh, to just use your TV set and your DV sure. unit and to watch it. And, uh, and, and the, the, the Norwood and Westwood Libraries both are making them available as widely as they can. And, and have you taken some of them? I have. I mean, that's. So what was your favorite one? Well, I love the literature ones. I yeah. mean, I never, I was taking science courses all the time. And I suddenly sat down and said, I wish I had been a, a major in literature. I would have, that's homework. Yeah. So it's it was to re read some of the, I love some of the classics. You know, the history of Rome, uh, the history of world religions, and things that, you know, you never thought about taking that are relevant today. 
uh, and uh, to just to see it in an organized uh, uh, manner. So I, I just have found this is a huge, the company that set it up, there's a fellow who went to the law school at Harvard and he was sick and he had to take a contract course or a, a test. Sure. And they said, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a kind of a video of it. So he did it and he, he did well. So he worked for the U.S. Congress and they're trying to take education to the inner cities and places. And he came up with this idea, why don't we go out and interview in some of the best teachers? And so it died. So he set up his own company. So they went around to the universities around the United States and said to the students, who are the best teachers here? Who would you recommend? So they came up with a list and then they said, what, what subjects does anybody care about? So they brought, interviewed these people and they brought them into Washington and they, they do the course. And that's how it, it came about. So the subjects are fascinating. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's a wonderful way in the comfort of your home. Uh, the teachers ought to be telling the kids in their classes right. about the availability of this. And so the more people can tell people about it and show it to them. Uh, and the feedback we've got, the, the examples I use, the ki kids taking it with their family or the, you know, this girl actually opening her eyes and learning a lot about literature. Right. But that's the opportunity you get out of taking the uh, course of some of these subjects. And the, the topics we've chosen uh, in the, uh, the, the different, different areas, uh, I think are fascinating. And there's seven in business. I have a son with an MBA. He said, Dad, that's like getting an MBA. Some of the subjects you take. History, there's 21 courses in history. You know, all the way from ancient history to the Vietnam War to World War I, World War II, just things that, yeah. you know, are really a fascinating way to learn about history, never mind, uh, uh, we even have some health ones now, Tai Chi, which I knew nothing about until I, I looked at the Tai Chi and how to relax, how to, you know. So it's, it's, we think a very interesting assortment of opportunities. And I don't think there's any, uh, any library uh, that I'm aware of in the country that has, gives everybody access sure. to this quality. And so, you just did you just take something and you said, I got to share this? How, how did you come up well, with after, the idea? Well, after I, I took some myself, I said, you know, this would be, a, you know, this would be a nice way to share it with the community. And then we decided to, we donated a few to the Norwood Library initially before we sent them to Westwood. Uh, and uh, the feedback was good. People said, gee, this is, this is great. Yeah. So then I, we, we keep looking for new ones that are coming out and just I kept adding and adding and asking people, you know, what were the interests, talk to the librarians, what, what, what was most popular, what subjects are popular, and it was fascinating. You know, there's the basic math, you know, and the science to, you know, the, the literature and the, uh, the uh, art and, and music. There's a fellow who works for the San Francisco Symphony and he helps the fundraisers. So if you give a lot of money, they bring you in for a lecture before the concert. And he's the most popular guy out there. So when they brought him into Washington to do his course, they couldn't find any of the staff people. They're down there listening to his <laughs> lecture. But you know, you want to learn about music and how to understand and appreciate music. Something obscure is that. So suddenly you might come out of that saying, I have a whole new love of music. Sure. And Norwood High is noted as yeah. a national champion in all forms of music. But there are a lot of things in this that probably a lot of kids can learn from. Wow, it's fascinating. I'm gonna, now you've got me hooked. I'm gonna go down there. Well, uh, give me feedback, what I you will. liked and uh, what you wish they had because they may be May have come up with new ones. So you still give your scholarship? Yep. And uh, is it through the scholarship? How do you do it? Through the scholarship foundation or you just do it? We actually, the, the, the school chooses somebody okay. for us and we, uh, we, we've we been doing it now for probably 15 years. And it's, uh, it's a nice way to give back. Sure. And uh, my parents were very involved in education. I actually taught at Norwood High one time for, uh, before I went to graduate school and I uh, have a lot of fond remembrances of going to Norwood High. Good, 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 good. Well, this has been an unbelievable show. The, all the guests have sort of had a, a theme of giving back to, to, on one level or another, you know, from, um, you know, Tom and yourself, and then from Doug being a member of the club, and now he's uh, executive director. So I'm so glad to, to see you again, number well, one. Thank you very so much for your show. It's a pleasure. You and uh, the one thing, we just feel fortunate that we can give back. You know, not yeah. everybody is in that position. Right. And, well, uh, you know, when, when you have that chance, it's a wonderful experience to do it. Well, not everybody does it, so thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.